Bula, it's Grant Abbott, and we're here in Fiji, and I'm with the excitable and mm -hmm. also the astonishing Maureen Gabriel, who's just joined LY Legal, but has got a, a super amazing background in crypto uh, and obviously forensics and all that. So do you want to just sort of give us a bit of background how you got into it? And more importantly, tell me about this brilliant Singapore case where you've blown everyone away. Okay, uh, well, number one, I can't talk too much about the case just yet because it goes yeah. to trial in two months. We're hoping yeah. to settle. Um, but in terms of forensics, I can yeah. definitely speak about that. So I have practiced in law for probably in excess of 10 years now. Yeah. Um, while I was doing my master's in law, I came across Bitcoin. And I'm sure you've all heard of Bitcoin, even yeah. if you don't know blockchain or crypto. Mm. And I fell in love with the technology and what it stood for. Mm. And so in 2018, I studied at the University of Nicosia in Cyprus and did a master's in digital currency, mm. um, computer software, software engineering and stuff. Um, of course, Australia, as always, is very far behind. So of course. Um, Australia's first pilot program was in 2021, which I also did. I did a um, extended, accelerated, intensive in law policy and regulation in emerging tech. So we covered blockchain, AI, synthetic engineering, robotics, all of the fun stuff, cybersecurity. And I went on to study an investigative license um, mm. globally. And then I did an advanced concepts and in investigation. So you're like a PI of crypto. Basically, that's yeah. exactly what we do. Yeah. So um, we formed a highly skilled, highly mm. trained team in investigations, open source intelligence, cybersecurity, blockchain analysts, blockchain developers, legal background, and we combined it all. Mm. So everyone in the team has what's called a hybrid multidisciplinary. So they're very, very trained, yeah. very skilled, very excitable, such as myself. Yeah. And um, we created something new. So a lot of the people that we serve are it's more of a commercial service, but we do do community stuff as well. So, so more um, like family law. Family lawyers. So I just saw, for example, the DOJ um, just recovered 15 billion. Of course, they took 15 it. Billion, 15 billion, yeah. billion from, from Cambodia. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, they'll take it for themselves. So. Yeah, look, they're, um, we're actually working with a few initiatives globally. Yeah. There's not many people globally on the global front that are trained to do this yeah. space. It's actually quite complicated in the sense that it's um, cross jurisdictional, yeah. international laws, the money moves very quickly. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you need to consider in terms of legislation yeah. and stuff. Our main clients though are family lawyers, accountants, yeah. liquidators, mm. um, insolvency practitioners, bankruptcy trustees. Yeah. We do do a lot of uh, collateral back loan due diligence. So the more the company grows, the more we expand our services. Of course, one of our biggest services mm. are assisting scam victims. Um, because so what's one of the latest scams that you see that people get hooked into pretty easily? Yeah. All right. So some of the biggest scams to watch out for are investment scams, pig butchering, romance scams. Yeah, tell me about pig butchering. Oh, I, I knew you were going to hone in on that because it's got well, a fun, I, exciting name. I know, I did. Um, so pig butchering. So I suppose pre-2022 scams were traditional in the sense that Nigerian, a scammer, yeah, yeah you're my, I'm a Nigerian prince and exactly. I've, you're my long lost relative. <laughs> They're a bit harder to um, fall into the trap of. These days, they don't just scam you once, they build a relationship with yeah. their victim and they scam you for a significant amount yeah. of time. So um, unfortunately, we do get a lot of relationship scams. Um, Pig butchering is can come in the form of relationships or investment oh, scams. So, like I'm a U Ukrainian woman, I just love you. Yeah. And the person behind it's like not at all. But you also get a lot of really sophisticated investment mm. scams where you'll go and find a broker from the UK, from Australia. Yeah. They'll build a relationship with you. Um, these organisations are sophisticated criminal mm. organisations. Others that we see, we kind of think, come on, guys, you yeah. can't have fallen for that, but they do. Um, so I think it's really, really important if you come across a investment, if you come across a relationship where they continue to like lead you onto a yeah. encrypted channel like WhatsApp, Telegram, anything like that, if that's where they want to do their communication signal, um, all of these little things should raise yeah. alarm bells. So. Yeah. And as soon as they start asking for money, that's the first thing. Yeah, look, as soon as they start showing you like, oh, I've just invested in this amazing thing, you should check it out. XRP. Send money, <laughs> send money now, yeah. like don't do it. Um, the other things to look out for is 
if you ever invest and suddenly you have to pay money as a gas fee, if yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to pay taxes, if you have to pay money because it, it got blocked or something, these mm -hmm. are all red flags. So we do some really great CPDs where we educate both professionals and people of the public um, for what to look out for. And it's, it's really important, like education, like knowledge is mm -hmm. power. So make sure you get educated, find out what you're doing, do and it right. And uh, also, for example, a lot of people get worried because six million frequent flyer names and addresses and emails were released on the dark web. So yeah. what, is, what does that mean in the long run potentially for people? Well, what it means is... There's a point of connection now, isn't there? Yeah, and that's, that's the most frustrating thing because um, data is going to be the most valuable commodity that yeah. we have moving forward. And through the use of AI, I think I've mentioned, all we need to do, Grant, is take an image of your face yeah, I now. Know, I know. And I've it used to be 10 talks. seconds of your no. voice, but now it's like three yeah. seconds of your yeah. voice. And we can... And that's now. It's only going to get oh. better, isn't it? And some of the technology we've seen being used, of course, like what the public gets is yeah. about 20 to 30 years behind yeah. what the corporations have. And that's another further like 20 years behind mm. what governments have. So the technology is incredible mm. and it's going to be used in propaganda. It's going to be used in AI scams. It's going to be used in like everything, in everything. Yeah. like we, there's a multitude of AI scams that you see out there. Mm. Um, and it's so important to educate people because even normal families, you think, oh, that's not going to happen to me. But yeah. we've got families with children going away on school camp yeah. and the child is away and because the kids are just posting frequently on you know, social media, a scammer can see that the child is away uh, and difficulty yeah, yeah. contacting yeah. their parents and they will ring them and say, mom, dad, I'm in trouble. And the parents will panic and send money immediately. Yeah, I've heard that. So we're seeing that? that happen more and more frequently. So we want to educate people. How can you protect your metadata? How yeah. can you know um, what's real, what's fake? You can no longer mm. trust what you see or trust what you hear. So all of the senses that we used to rely on out the window. Um, the other thing is uh, through Lightyear Training Group, you're doing, a, I think, a 10-week course um, around crypto. Do you want to uh, just give that a good shout out and what you're going to teach? Because all the accounts and financial planners, yeah. the, the, their, their knowledge of crypto is, um, is Bitcoin. But really, the whole thing actually comes back to the, the blockchain, which is yep. what's really need, need to know. And out of blockchain, there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes from that. So the course goes for 10 weeks um, and it's split into all different industries. So you have ones for accountants, one for insolvency practitioners, family lawyers. Each um, intro basically covers off what is blockchain technology, what is cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. So we teach you that crypto is just a application that's built on blockchain technology. Yeah. It's one of the many applications built on top of this incredible yeah. technology. And a lot of people don't understand that blockchain is groundbreaking. Um, it is one of the best technologies that have been created in our time and it's going to be used That's in a amazing, lot of things yeah. in the background without you even knowing. So the future holds things like NFTs, but it's not going to be a picture of a monkey. It's going to be your driver's license in the form of a soul bound NFT. Yeah. So one of one in the world. Do you think it's ever going to get to a stage where we're going to have uh, CBDCs? Absolutely. Or, That's or already a in global the plan. One? Um, do you think it's still going to be jurisdictional? No, I think it's going to be wide. per government. Yeah. Eventually, they would like to see a UN one world like, yeah. government. Yeah. Um, but this is going to... Because that would be pro, terrible. It's pro, a, a bit controversial and I shouldn't answer on this. And my answer doesn't represent the answer yeah. of the company or anything. It's my answer it's alone. My answer is the same as hers. And it does <laughs> represent the company. Um, <laughs> I do oppose the use of CBDCs yeah. significantly. I yeah. used to lobby against them yeah. five years ago when they asked us to put papers in um, for people that don't understand. And a lot of people push back and say, yeah. what are you talking about? When was the last time you used cash? Yeah. We pay electronically. They There's don't understand difference. that there is a significant difference between electronic money and digital money. So mm. digital money is an asset that is programmable. And if you give a government that amount of like power over yeah, your look, money you're, you're using too much too much carbon so therefore yep, yep you got automatic taxes you cross yeah. the road you ran yeah. a red light to gets taken your money expires your money can yeah. be geofenced um you Which know what they're it's not as if it's rocket science because they're using this in in, in china, china already. Yeah. yeah well i think they're uh, replicating are the same the, model if people are cut off the grid in china they what can they do they can't do anything 
They've already actually, we have a, what's called a trust system in Australia. So mm -hmm. it's just a different name for the social credit system. Yeah. So again, knowledge is power. Make sure you get out there and educate yourself or exactly. come to one of our CBDCs yeah. and we'll do yeah. it for you. Go, go to the crypto course. Anyway, thanks for that, Maureen.